Okay, so I just re-estimated uh, the GARCH 1-1 model uh, proposed by um, Fabrice Roua, uh, obtained from the Volupta website. We used the same data set uh, that was available in the text file. We put in the... We optimize using the approach suggested by Hull. However, we estimated the initial variance uh, using this, the population variance of the entire um, returns, and, um, and then we used the um, GARCH11 specification and then optimized and fit and uh, maximized the log likelihood. Now, we want to take this same data set as we have here and set this up. We've done it in Xcode, C++ Xcode. I want to do the same now in Visual Studio. And uh, okay, so let's set up Visual Studio. So Visual Studio, uh, and we want to do a new project. And of course, I need to, while that's setting up, I need to go into Volupta website. Okay, so Visual Studio, we need Visual C++, so let's have a look here, try it again, Visual Studio Win32, Win32 console application, so, okay, let's go Garch, develop the Okay, and click OK, and next, and it should be an empty project. And while that's happening, we'll go into Volupta, and we go to the C++ section. And we come down to where the GARCH file is, so we just bring this down, and hopefully this will unzip. Okay, so now we need, we're back into Visual Studio, and we have just set out, uh, set up the GARCH project, but we need to enter in code. So we come to the source file and add a new item, and it's C++, so we just add in there. Okay, now I need to put in the code, and can I, uh, okay, so I have issues here. So let me pause, and I'll get the GARCH code on a Word document. Okay, so I think I have this file. Okay, let's just open this for a second. And we also need that file. Okay, so it's just open there. Okay, let's just copy. Pull it down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And I think we have everything in. And we copy. Okay, and then I look for... Okay, Garch, Garch for Lupta. So I come back here and I want to enter the so source code and I just paste. Now there will be issues as there was issues before in the X code and we can see them straight away where they're popping up. Okay, so we can take this one out. So that was the same as X code. That seems to be, um, we don't need those uh, libraries. Okay, and again, we can run but it won't produce any results. We're just looking for a successful build. But there won't be any results because we haven't attached um, the text file. Okay, so that's an issue. Okay, but we're just looking for a successful build. Okay, so we've got that and we can now just stop it. Okay, 
So it looks as if we have a successful build. Uh, next thing we need to do is add in the S&P 500 text file. So we've run this. Okay, just check that again. We run it and we didn't observe any output here, but we wouldn't expect that uh, because the there's no text file. Okay, so did I stop that? Debug. Yes, I stopped that. Okay, so I want to add in a resource file. And I want to add in, yes, link the S&P 500 text file in. So existing file now, but I've copied and pasted that S&P 500 file. Okay, so let's go to, to documents. We go to Visual Studio 2015 projects, Garch for Lopte. Then we go to the debug and we look for, actually we go to the Garch for Lopte. And we're looking, we look, we see the source file and these together. So we'll just paste in there the S&P 500 uh, text file that has that data and add. So now it appears here and then we run or we debug. Okay, so let's let that run for a second. And we debugged, but the debug screen disappeared very quickly. So to stop that happening again, we put in system pause. So we'll try that. Okay. So I've put in system pause. And I'll run that again. And it takes a little while. On the debug, debug window now appears and we have these results here. Now this has taken quite a while. I'm not sure why it's slow. It might be that the resources here are not as good and I'm using a parallel windows type system or a virtual windows. I don't think it's that. Let's just compare the results I have here in the debug against Excel. So maybe I can copy this. So let's edit and select all and then can I copy so I come up here I edit select call select all edit copy and go back into our spreadsheet and I just paste these values here in Excel so this is from from Visual Studio And when we compare the values, Omega 7.205. So Omega is relatively close. Alpha, the alpha value again is the same. And the beta, the beta value is the same again. So we're getting the same, no surprise, I suppose, we're getting the same values as here. What probably is um, more noticeable here is that uh, in Xcode, just this code performed much more quickly. And in the Visual Studio, it um, took a good minute for uh, to go through all the iterations. Um, maybe we can see that in the output. So, no, 101 uh, iterations. So, it's just a little bit slower, that's all. Okay.